My favorite UD memory is... Oh, my favorite UD memory. My favorite UD memory... I have so many great favorite UD memories, but I have to pick one anyway. I like being a spotty. When you're a spotty, nobody, nobody knows you and you have to dance, you can do everyone, no shyness as well. So I think that is one of my best UD favorite memories. We have to be moving day. Uh, just because I was coming from North Carolina at the time and like we were severely lost, like two hours lost. My favorite UD memory was the first time I got to fly an airplane solo. Uh, me and my buddy decided we had nothing to do one day. We decided to go rent a plane from the airport. Uh, we took it down to Nashville, Tennessee and just spent the afternoon walking around Nashville, Tennessee. Got some really good food. Uh, literally working at the bookstore. Um, that's a memory that I, that's going to grave into my, um, my life. My favorite UD memory was winning conference with the cheerleading team. Probably just being on the track team. The UD versus Loris games, um, I find them to be really intense and fun and just a way to show school spirit. Beating Warburg in 2015 on homecoming night. It's going to have to go with football when we beat Loris for the fourth time this season in a victory of 49 to 47. My favorite UD memory would have to be with my baseball team winning the school school's first ever conference championship and tournament championship. My favorite UD memory has to be uh, the the trip to Ireland that the football team took. Definitely be going down to Costa Rica with the women's soccer team. Was having the opportunity to go to South America this past summer through the ROTC program. When I had the opportunity to travel to Sweden with Professor Adam Hoffman. It was definitely my return trip to Italy. My favorite UD memory would probably be all our long road trips in the Justice van for moot court and mediation. Class of 2019, I want to say congratulations on your big accomplishment here at, here at the University of Dubuque. And the good thing is, you don't have to deal with my emails anymore. Appreciate it. On behalf of the Department of Business and Accounting, we would like to congratulate the class of 2019. Great job, guys. Good job on all your accomplishments, and God bless you in all your endeavors. And don't be a stranger. Feel free to come back. This is your home base. This is where you got your education. And we welcome you at any time with open arms. Uh, so we look forward to always serving you, not only during this time, but forever into the future. Thank you and congratulations. Good job, guys. Really, my best memories are the time spent with other coaches, graduate assistants, and community members who are taking classes here to advance themselves professionally. Oh, I'd probably have to say my favorite UD memory was when um, my intramural basketball team were the underdogs and we made it to the championship game and we almost won. My favorite UD memory would have to be starting my poetry club last year for better or worse. My favorite UD memory would probably have to be the night that I actually toured the campus with Lee. Lee made it sound amazing and is the reason I actually signed up to do the life program at the University of Dubuque. All the UD graduates of 2019, on behalf of the Office of Student Life, I want to wish each and every one of you a heartfelt congratulations and wish you the very best. We hope that your lives continue to be ones of worth and purpose. Thanks for all you have done for UD and best of wishes. Uh, congratulations 2019 graduates. We're proud of all the work that you've done during your time here at the University of Dubuque and we'd like to wish you luck. We hope that everything goes well for you from this point on, and congratulations, and hopefully we'll hear about you in the future. The best I'd like to give a shout out to is actually also an athletic trainer here. Uh, I had him for my human nutrition class, Jeremy Clausen. Uh, he's just someone who, I, I took his class after coming off not my best semester, but I mean, not the worst, but he, he really kind of pushed me in the classroom and uh, that semester I actually ended up getting a 4.0. So the professors or coaches that really helped me along the way was obviously a lot of the HWS professors. They're amazing, but I also like to give a shout out to Coach Berna and Coach Y and then Coach Vic as well. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to uh, Professor Chamenda Prelis. I think he helped me a lot throughout my four years here at the University of Dubuque, not only as my advisor, but also as a friend. Professor Rafiq. Uh, Professor Craig Marty and Professor Ricardo Cunningham, those are three that I feel like really made an impact on me and a difference. 
Um, a professor that made an impact on me here is Professor Shook. I don't think if it was for him, I would be a major in criminal justice. John Shook, uh, he really helped mold me into the person that I am today. Shout out to Ben Bartles because he's crazy. Ben Bartles, he's all around a good mentor, um, a second father to me. I would like to give a shout out to Professor Ben Bartles. He is the reason that I came to this university. Um, from day one, he's always been my greatest mentor and teacher, and I wouldn't be where I am today without him. Kim Hilby is my favorite person in the, U in the United States of America. The campus mom and her husband, because they treated me so well while I was here. Of course, I got to thank Victoria and give her a shout out, because she is like the mom I always needed in my life. Dr. Thomas, he has been um, there supporting me through everything, helping me with grad school. So I'd like to give a shout out to you. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Phyllis Garfield, because she's probably one of my favorite professors, and I've just loved her since I've met her. I have a lot of professors that I would like to thank and give special shout outs to. The whole comm department. Because I'm a communication major, so I love everyone there. A team comm, for sure. So I like to shout out uh, Yardi. He is my favorite professor. Jen Supple Bartles. Yeah. She's believed in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. As you move forward, you may be asked to give a speech or a presentation sometime. So in one last lesson, I'd like to give you a bit of advice. Use the B's of public speaking. Be short, be sincere, and then be seated. So in following that guidance, I'm going to say the following. Always be proud of your accomplishments. You've done some really great things and be proud of them. Always be humble. Always act with integrity. And last, but certainly not least, always keep us posted of all your accomplishments. You'll do great things and we're very proud of you. Thank you and congratulations. Big shout out to Rod Wells. He was my first instructor. I had three econ classes with him and if anybody can make economics exciting and fun to learn it was rod three shout, shout outs um, one of them is dr. Hoffman um, environmental chemistry I always always loved going to his classes uh, and then dr. Dale Easley same type of deal he was always uh, a guiding uh, a guiding force in my life and he also took us to New Orleans so that was fun and then um, dr. Haverland in the education department he taught me a lot of what I know today one professor that I'd have to give a shout out to, it's going to have to go to Craig Marty. He, I was an undecided freshman year and then I got into the business world and he's kind of been, he's been my favorite professor and that to go a long way. Um, shout out to Coach Drew Ritchie, the cheerleading coach, and Professor Alan Garfield. You rock. Uh, the professor I would definitely have to shout out is Alan Garfield. The guy's been a mentor since I got here. Mark Woodhouse and Animas, uh, Phyllis, the international office. All of them, they have a very good impact on me and my career, my college career. Abdul Sino has been such a mentor uh, from a life perspective. He is an inspiring leader, an inspiring professor, and he has truly changed my life. I would like to give a shout out to Liza Johnson. She's been really supportive throughout my uh, college experience and has been very helpful with a lot of different aspects of it. I was around Coach McGovern quite a bit and he taught me a lot of stuff, not about wrestling, but about life and about school. And I would like to give a shout out to just a few people that really impacted me at the University of Dubuque, just a few. Sam Deaver, Liza Johnson, Adam Hoffman, Michael Mandot, Anna Lee Ward, Michael Dernan, David Burkett, Vic Pop, Craig Marty, Dennis George, Jim Sullivan. Do you want me to keep going? <laughs> Congratulations all 2019 graduates. We want to give a special shout out to all of our campus store graduates. Go out and make the world a better place, but you're gonna miss us. Uh, my most embarrassing memory was probably my sophomore year when we did the Easter egg hunt here on the quad. I went to go after an egg and completely tripped over everything and fell on my face and all my eggs went all over the place. So I didn't win anything and I didn't get a single egg. <laughs> um, no, no, no very embarrassing memories at UD at all. Uh, sounds kind of bad, but getting kicked out of the football game. 
falling down the hill in Donnell. Like I was going from uh, the wreck to go get food and then eventually I fell down the hill because it was cold that day. I was a junior and I was walking down the steps in the Heritage Center and I fell. Slipping down the Heritage Center stairs during lunchtime earlier this year. And then I ended up slipping on a patch of ice and two of my friends were with me and just started laughing at me. And I was walking over to the tech building and it was all slushy and I immediately slipped and fell like four times in a row. Why you asked me this yeah. question? <laughs> it was probably about the first week of school. I was in the shower and of course that's when the fire alarm went off. So my first week of school, fire alarm goes off. I'm waiting outside, I'm in a towel. Uh, constantly forgetting what classroom I'm in. Showing up to the wrong class and sitting in it for a half an hour before I realized it was the wrong class. I was giving a campus tour, um, walking backwards, just not my forte. Um, I ended up actually walking into one of the street signs, walking backwards. Well, let's say the sign went into the golf cart. So one day when I got home from school, I realized that there was a rip in the back of my pants, and I don't know how long it was there for. We don't need it. To, no, we don't no. need to elaborate that. Congratulations, grads. On the behalf of the Health, Wellness, and Sport program, we're excited for you, and we're looking forward to see what the future holds for you. Congratulations, you have a lot to celebrate. I'm excited for you. I want you to remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, I believe, by a God who knows you and loves you. God bless. Uh, probably the biggest thing I'll miss about being at UD is just being two seconds away from all your friends. The brotherhood, um, everybody's here on campus and you're, or you live within, if you're off campus, it's within five minutes of each other. Um, being minutes away from being like, oh, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. The ability to make new friends constantly, um, that's one thing that I really liked about UD. I think just the environment and the people, they're so nice. The thing I'm gonna miss about my time here at UD is the community aspect of everything. Everybody's so nice. You can't walk anywhere without having to say hello at least five times. Many friends here who I know I'm going to talk to for a lifetime. I don't even know how I would have been able to make this journey without them. They've really made an impact on my life. Like this is the first place I've ever lived longer than two years so I think coming here and be able to create a home and have people that see me as family was what I miss the most. Miss that UD? The basketball games, they're always lit. <laughs> Definitely gonna miss intramurals. Uh, I love competing in those. Probably the track team and being on such an amazing team and being with um, an amazing uh, sport. A lot, of, a lot of great genuine people within the science department, uh, the fishing team, my friends at the rec center. The professors and the way that they communicate with their students, the one-on-one -on -one that they give. You've got a tight bond, especially being a life student, being together for three hours a night and having the same people in your classes over and over, so I'm definitely gonna miss a couple of them that are not graduating with me. Obviously all of the relationships that I've created with every one of my professors, the faculty, staff, everyone. I'm finishing up the MAC program right now and the, those of us who are in the group, we've been together for the last two years working and We've, we've been a family, we've supported each other, we've worked on every project together, so not, not seeing those people every day and every week is gonna be the biggest miss. What I think I'm gonna miss the most about my time here at UD is all my friends and the people that I've met and how, what a great environment it is here. Hello, graduates. From the first day you got here, I remember several of you saying, I don't think we'll ever get to graduation. Well, now you're here and tomorrow is your big day. So congratulations to you and hope to see you all back soon. We always have cookies, you know. Have a great life. Bye-bye. Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! <laughs> Yeah, go Spartans! Go Spartans! <laughs> go Spartans! <laughs> go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Hey, uh, Spartans! Go Spartans! No, no, don't do that! <laughs>